What's up guys? I got the El Camino all loaded up with Carson's VRL race bike and my shovel head. I'm gonna go put them on display at the Fort Town Barber Show. Uh, come down and check it out. So back on the KLR, I'm adding the Tuss skid plate. All the bolts are loose because I think I have to have them loose to put the crash guards that are gonna go up here. Um, also, I'm doing their uh, peg or their foot their, uh, foot peg kit. So these have these uh, rubber washers uh, right there and grommets. And uh, so you take those out, put in uh, machined hardware like this. This kit's like 20 bucks or something. It's something cheap, I can't remember. But it makes the, the foot peg solid. There's like no movement there. But this side is stock with like a little bit of pressure. You can see how much a foot peg moves. So it makes you uneasy when you're uh, riding off road and you're standing. You know, you get all that leverage of your weight and these will really feel like they're sagging down and give you an unconfident feeling when you're trying to ride off road. So changing those out. Also, I'm gonna be changing out these uh, rubber foot pegs for some more aggressive ones as well. So cold start, stock exhaust. muffler it's for a gen 2 so i had to change out some of the hardware but figured i'd show you guys what it sounds like and also this is with the spark arrestor removed just for demonstration purposes only i'll put that back in so cold start Had to put a longer bolt in with this. Goes through. Like I said, this is for a Gen 2. And then what else did I have to do? Oh, I had to drill out this bracket and didn't have a big enough hole in it for actually this bolt right here to use the OEM bolt. But other than that, bolted right on. It's for a Gen 2, but looks like it's gonna work pretty good. I got these uh pannier racks, I think off of Amazon or eBay. I think they'll do the trick. Lay I put on these attack uh like knee guards or whatever to protect the tank. I also put on the Tusk crash bar, uppers and lowers with the Tusk skid plate as well. So now I'm gonna be working on this. The other day I went to do a wheelie and uh, the previous owner had washers right there and I hadn't uh, done anything about that yet. I hadn't got uh, the plates that actually go there. And so I did that. I dumped the clutch, went to ride a wheelie and chain popped off, sucked in the washer. So now I'm gonna be dealing with that. Check it out, the nuts are all rounded. I'm gonna try and get the nuts off and see if the studs are savable or not. So, yeah. So, got all the nuts off. I think all the studs are savable. I did pull one stud out, trying to get the nut off of it. So, tomorrow I'll go to the hardware store and see if I can find something to make a stud out of for now or figure out what I can do for that. Got them all out. I think the everything else will be okay. So definitely could have been worse. All right, got a little bit of uh, helmet hair. 
just got done putting everything all the new parts on the klr so i'm gonna ride it up to lava hot springs take the long way it's about a two hour drive so yeah we'll see if anything falls off that i put on all right about 100 miles in on the test ride i'm in grace idaho uh, everything's going pretty good uh bike's a little loud without the uh what is that the spark restroom so i'll probably put that in and uh i don't know maybe wear some earplugs but other than that everything's going smooth Okay, I made it to the lava. Okay, bike went good. So now just kicking it with the family for the weekend. It's 4th of July weekend, so check them out. I got Cooner and Leia on the pit bike and Chloe on the other one. Carson filling up the water buffalo. This is what we fill our uh, cabin with. Our uh, she shed, it's like a little storage shed that we use as a cabin. And this is our water supply, so yeah, gonna be a good weekend. We bought a boat today and didn't tell Leia about it, so I surprised her. Honey, take me for a spin. something but it ran pretty good needs a little bit of work but it's pretty sweet and uh 
Leia was happy with the surprise, so that's always a bonus when uh, the old lady's happy. So yeah, couldn't have gone better. Second time out on the lake. So yeah, we're gonna see how the boat does. We took it to Willard last night. They were rock port. No boat and fishing today. We're doing pretty good so far. What do you think about it? Uh, it's pretty fun. It's a little guy. It doesn't take waves very well, but it's fun. gas but camp is right there so what do you want to do paddling. yeah we do have paddles we'll get there eventually for the Idaho BDR. So I'm gonna take off and you guys will see me in two weeks. Hopefully all goes well. And I already had hand warmers. Hopefully I won't need those, but they're nice to have because I'm an old man with screwed up hands. Uh, I put on uh, more aggressive tires. I think they're Shinko 700s. Pest crash bars, foot pegs for going on the highway. Guard, skid plate, whatever you want to call it. Uh, low profile engine, drain bolt as well. Ear brackets, and it came with these bags, but no brackets, so I put those on. It came with this box. I just bolted it on better. Added a tank bag, a bar pad, um, this power socket here, more aggressive foot peg. I lay it to the headlight just to make it look cooler. Added an extra fuel can. I uh, did a exhaust, a Lex, that's for a Gen 2. Uh, you guys will see that in this video. A fender delete kit, so it cleans up the ass end, makes it look a little bit better. And a thermal bob and the doohickey. And I think that's everything, but you guys will probably watch this video and see what I left out. Wait, wait. <laughs> 